Good morning, everyone. It's about half six in the morning. I'm on our way to Hiroshima. Bit of a rush this morning, but we're all here. We're all, uh, all present and correct. It's the main thing. Um, we've got a two hour journey ahead of us. Which we're all looking forward to the two hours sleep in an air conditioned coach. <laughs> um, which will be lovely. Um, and then we will arrive and do our tour. So, catch you in a bit. At the Russian Peace Memorial. And we are just having a bit of wander around before we have a main lecture at 11 o'clock. Um, it really is peaceful and stunning. And um, so many memorials to various different things related to peace and the Hiroshima bombing. So. ready to for some readings of memoirs from the atomic bomb which should be really interesting really cool when the atomic bomb falls day becomes night and people become ghosts starting off in the museum some pictures of the initial dust cloud Is that where it's Yeah. Paper cranes. Are they the ones made by that girl? Well, I don't think oh, it's the legit the cartoon girl. Yeah, conversation. Cranes. First time in the two years that I've known Sam, he has lost his voice. It's so peaceful. How are you feeling? <laughs> No more's coming out. But it's so peaceful right now. No more's coming out. No. I want to say so much. 
We know you do, you always do. But nothing's happening. <laughs> Brilliant. I hope it gets better soon. Of course, thank you. Sam's daily update of no voice. Um, so he has no voice now. Um, so Sam, how are you feeling? Or what do you would what would you like to say? My voice has now gone. His voice is now gone. Okay. So what would you like to say to everyone at home? Not much at the moment. And that's our daily update from Sam. Thank you, Sam. Good evening, everyone. Evening. So, evening. We're joined again with Han Stock and Matt and Greg in the background, but I think it's going to be quite dark yeah. over there. Get some light on him. There, there we go. go. That's a scary lovely. picture. Um, so we've been to Hiroshima today. No, you've just a bit. Uh, we got him back. There we go. Um, which was quite thought-provoking. There was a lot of things to look at and kind of make you see the scale of the destruction and things like that. So. These guys are going to win you. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was quite an emotional day, wasn't it? Yeah, we went to the museum. Like, it was quite rushed at the time, but like, it, was still, it still was quite moving. Yeah, yeah. and then we went into an auditorium and listened to a, a watch a video and listened to some poems from survivors, and they were quite um, emotional and thought provoking. Like, hard on, the, like, yeah. on, the, on the bus journey there, we watched a video. Um, <laughs> the thing is, like, I can't see. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of a different spin on the whole thing and more about the peace side of things than yeah. what actually the horrific things that happened. Yeah. So, but mood on camp is good. I think a lot of people have kind of taken a moment to kind of go, oh my God, but they've rejuvenated themselves. Yeah. It, was a, it, was a good, it was a good day overall. So, uh, so tomorrow we are all different places. So we're split up as patrols again. Us three are all in the same place. Um, but yeah, we're all different things. So we'll give you an update of what each one is doing, but you'll mainly see what we we as a patrol are doing. Glass blasting. Glass oh, blasting. glass blasting and going to a school. Yeah, so, so that should be quite cool. Community uh, day. We get a lot of videos for that. So, we'll see you later. Oh, ah! and, uh, oh, there hi Graham. Hi Jackie Hemstock. <laughs> Paul Hemstock. And hi to all my family. Oh, yeah, and well. hi Mum. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, you need to say hi to someone. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in particular? Yeah. Everyone in particular. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So, good night, guys. We're all going to do the sign out. Yeah. Bye. Bye.